and welcome back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to do screen recording for your native android application so first i will show you the demo so here i will click on the start button it will ask for all the permissions and once i click on start it will start recording my screen as well as it will record uh, it will not record uh, like it will record all the audio which it can hear uh, so here you can see once i click on stop i am playing that video inside an exo player as well so yeah uh, that's it uh, let's get started <coughs> so firstly what you will have to do you will have to go to set uh, so i am using android studio giraffe uh, so if you are using older versions of android studio this might look a little different because android studio giraffe uh, comes with uh, kotlin uh, gradle uh, like the build uh, the gradle files are in kotlin and not in groovy so you will have to adapt your uh, gradle files uh, if you are using still using groovy so firstly uh, you will have to add this uh, maven url of uh, jetpack.io in your settings.gradle next go to build.gradle.kts so this is the main dependency for recording audio uh, hb recorder and uh, these two dependencies are just for playing the uh, captured video so if you want you can add this to dependency otherwise you can ignore it as well uh, it doesn't really matter next uh, i have just added this icon uh, ins uh, inside my application so you can replace this to whatever you want this is uh, shown in the notification bar once you start recording next if i go to activity underscore main here i have just have two button and at the bottom i have a player view to play the video so, so yeah uh, next uh, go to main activity uh, firstly um, you will have to implement this hb recorder listener so uh, it will ask you to override few methods just right click on it and uh, click in implement methods so here first uh, we need to create object of media variable for media projection manager next hb recorder next is content resolver and content values and this uh, MURI will store the URI for the captured video and these are for the EXO player so I won't explain much of it so if you want you, I have already have videos of EXO player multimedia 3 EXO player uh, uh, on my channel so if you are interested you can watch those here we are uh, requesting for audio permission uh, post notification permission and write external storage permission and here uh, uh, once the media once we give the permission uh, like we will uh, use a register for activity result and i will come back to this later on and here uh, this is for once the all permissions are being granted uh, if uh, then we will uh, if it is already recording then we will stop the recording if not then we will set this initial values like you will have to set this initial values you can play around with this values to whatever you want and as you can see i'm setting an icon on the notification title description and you will have to use an intent as well uh, okay so result launcher dot launch in intent so it will come over here so once you get the intent i am using the hb recorder dot start recording to uh, st start the recording as it says and i'm setting the output path over here as well which i will show you in minute next uh, in on create i'm just initializing our exo player view and setting up our notification <coughs> also in hb i'm initializing hb recorder over here and here like uh, this i have just copied from documentation you don't really need this because we are just console logging it like logging it to the console so not much here you don't need this as well and here we are creating our media product projection manager uh, initializing media projection manager and when start bet button is uh, clicked we are calling the permission launcher and if stop button is clicked we are stop the uh, stopping the recording and for output path as you can see there are different ways of storing from android q so here i am using content values to save it inside uh, movies uh, the whatever is the recorded video uh, else we are creating a folder and saving it to get external storage public directory here we are generating a file so i'm using some date time pattern to create a unique file name and here i am creating a folder and here uh, uh, this is the on start method which is called if you have a to do implementation please remove it otherwise the app might crash just add some console log or keep it as empty 
and once recording is completed you will get a call back over here and we are uh, depending on what version you are using we are calling the appropriate method over here so to save the video uh, so here is the refresh gallery file and this is the update gallery uri and here you can see i'm calling play video in both the methods once they are uh, finished so it will just play the video again if you have any to do implementation over here over here or over here do remove it and uh, if you want you can add some console logs as well and here you can see i'm just getting the uri from over here and just playing the video so this is for exo player this is for exo player and this is for exo player this also is for exo player so if you don't want to write exo player code you can ignore that so that's how you record the audio another important thing is android manifest.xml here you will have to add all these permissions so yeah uh, yeah you don't need to add this like uh, this was uh, just part of my debugging uh, what else i think main activity yeah i think that should be it. thank you for watching bye